Hi, Malikwitz here again with another video featuring the building of an astronomical telescope dome. Now, those of you who've seen my previous video where we built the Atlas Project's dome may have noticed a crane busy working away in the background. Now, this video is about the construction of the Prime Telescope in Sutherland, South Africa. Now, because I had a lot of footage, uh, pictures and even drone footage, I'm actually going to break this down into three videos. The first is about the building construction. Secondly, the assembly of the dome itself, which had some interesting challenges being ripped in three by the wind at some stage. And then finally, the dome lift using a crane. So let's start with a quick intro I did on site previously. You see behind me a dome being built, and uh, this is called PRIME, the Prime Focus Infrared Microlensing Experiment. It'll have a diameter of 1.8 meter, which will make it the third largest on site. It'll sport a 64 megapixel infrared camera and also an infrared spectrograph. Now, the Japanese has been world leaders in infrared astronomy for years. And in fact, the dome that you see down there is, has also been operated for 20 years already very successfully. So there are two Japanese partners in, in the consortium and also an American which will be the University of Maryland and the NASA Goddard Space Center. Uh, they will come to the party because of the WFIRST telescope due to be launched soon. And then the fourth partner, partner being the African Astronomical Observatory supplying the site and the facility. Back in October 2020, the contract of the building construction was awarded to Ayeto Alpha Civils from Wooster, who has been involved in several successful Sutherland construction projects already. Civil construction started after a small groundbreaking ceremony held on 26 October 2020, attended by project scientist Dr. David Buckley and Ernie Foster, site agent of Ayeto Alpha Civils. The aim of the Monet telescope webcam was slightly adjusted to record progress. Being an older camera, the quality is unfortunately not great. First, the foundations are dug out to bedrock, which is actually quite shallow in Sutherland. A time lapse makes for interesting cloud formations, even passing thunderstorms. It was a lucky bonus to be able to source concrete from the nearby wind farm construction instead of having to truck it in all the way from Wooster. 250 kilometers away, saving the complication of retarders and accelerators again. A crane was mandatory to handle the shattering for the construction of the pier, which was started while the building foundations were still ongoing. The pier is a hollow cylinder with a capped top. Costing it required a few truckloads of concrete. After setting for just over a week, the shattering could be removed. More concrete to finish off the floors, followed by a digger doing excavations and tidying up the site before closing down for the summer holidays. Due to a countrywide shortage of steel, erection of the steel construction was delayed until almost the end of February 2021. Erection of the pre-assembled steel work made by L.A. Stahl of Worcester goes quite quickly, again with the help of a small crane. All the while, site work continues. the insulating panels supplied and mounted by cool maintenance arrived. These are the same panels used for cold storage rooms except that the ones around the dome cylinder has to be curved.
Those who followed the construction of salt would have noticed that it was exactly the same construction method. As with salt, holes for louvers will still be cut into primed walls. Even the inner walls and the roof of the control room are all built from the same panels in order to control the temperatures of the various chambers inside the facility to carefully control something astronomers call Dome C. The telescope built by Nishimura in Japan had since been completed and David Buckley followed the ship delivering it quite closely. He took this photograph of it as it passed his home in Scarborough. Eleven days later, it got delivered to site. By the end of April 2021, construction had to be stopped until the dome is mounted before installation of the equipment sensitive to rain and weather can proceed. The process of the dome assembly is covered in the next video.